These small and cute-looking ornithopod dinosaurs are called Hypsilophodons. These dinosaurs are famous because of how God made them. Big eyes, reptilian beaks, short arms, fast-running legs, and their small size. The Hypsilophodon fossils were first discovered in the Isle of Wight in England in the year 1849. Years later, other kinds of small-beaked dinosaurs were found in Europe and North America. Some people think that the Hypsilophodons and other small-beaked dinosaurs lived in clans. Each clan would be ruled by a king and queen. They would help lead their clan to safety and to find food. God designed their mouths with a small reptilian beak to grab food. Then the food is chewed inside the mouth with 28 to 30 leaf-shaped cheek teeth that are razor sharp. These little dinosaurs can eat conifers, herbaceous plants, club ferns, and probably other kinds of plants. As the clan browses, one of them acts as a lookout to spot for predators. God made their eyes big to give them good vision. They might be able to see well at night, too. High up in the trees, a golden eagle has her eye on the clan. Her species have been known to hunt big animals like livestock, canines, seals, and even deer. The lookout alerts the clan, and they all run into the safety of the forest. The small beast dinosaurs' gifted speed is their best chance to escape the danger. Some people guess that they can run as fast as an ostrich at 43 miles per hour, but the golden eagle can dive to 200 miles per hour when chasing prey. The Hypsilophodons have escaped, and the golden eagle will have to choose a different meal for her. These are Dryosaurus, meaning oak lizard. They are called that because God designed their teeth oak-shaped to eat leaves, shoots, and probably other plants. Paleontologists think that Dryosaurus lived in forests. God didn't design any known weapons for the Dryosaurus, but he did make their legs strong and able to run really fast to escape predators. Plus, God might have given them good senses to detect any nearby predators. Now, Dryosaurus, along with other small-beaked dinosaurs, are not birds, despite their beaks. They are 100% dinosaur. Sea turtles also have reptilian-like beaks, and they are reptiles, not birds. There are many animals that God designed features that you would see on other animals. For example, the giant spike-clubbed armadillo, Dodicarus, has a huge hard shell. It makes him almost look like a tortoise, but the Dodicarus is a mammal, not a reptile. Another example is the duck-billed platypus. God made its mouth, feet, and lay eggs like a duck. The platypus is a monotreme, which is a mammal that lays eggs and nurses its young with milk. Now these features does not make the animals related to other different animals in any way. However, the only thing that all these animals have in common is that they were all created by the one powerful creator and heavenly father, and his name is God. Othnelia is another species of the small-beaked dinosaurs. They were named after the man who first discovered them, and is also one of the most famous paleontologists, Othniel Charles Marsh. You know, there's a man in the Bible whose name is Othniel. In Judges chapters 1 through 3, Othniel was a good judge. He was also a good man like Samuel the prophet as he served God. God made the Othnelia probably almost the size of a golden retriever. He also designed reptilian beaks and chisel-shaped teeth to help them eat plants. This Othnelia clan is now building nests to lay their eggs. The nests are made out of foliage, which is a collection of plants and leaves. The king and queen, or dominant pair, will build their nests in the middle of all the other nests so that their babies will be safe. As the clan build their nests, they will also build extra more nests to act as decoys to the predators, for the decoys won't have any eggs. A while later, the eggs have already been laid, and the parents check on them to make sure that they are alright. Each of the nests that are not decoys have eight eggs, and this could attract some egg-eating predators, like this raccoon. He approaches to a decoy nest, but the Othnelias still don't want him around, and so one of them drives the raccoon away. God designed that kind of defensive idea for the Othnelias to protect their young, 
as was the decoy nest idea. Another while later, the eggs have hatched. The queen brings plant food in a chewed up paste to help make it easier for the babies to eat it. The baby Othnelias will stay in their nests for probably two weeks, then they will be old enough to come out. Lielinosaura is another breed of the small beaked dinosaurs. Just like how there are different breeds of cats, dogs, monkeys, dolphins, etc., there might have been several breeds of small beaked dinosaurs. After all, God made each of his animal creations to diverse into different breeds and species. But no matter how much the animals change, they remain as the same species. Lielinosaurus were named after the daughter whose parents discovered it at the southern part of Australia, Dinosaur Cove of Victoria. This was one of the reasons why people thought it was a polar dinosaur. Long ago, during the pre-flood world, Antarctica and Australia were connected together along with all the other continents in the form of a supercontinent called Rodina. People have found fossilized plants and forests in the Transantarctic Mountains, which is almost near the South Pole. Some of these fossilized plants are still existing today, and there are some that are extinct, such as an unidentified species of moss. Some of them were freeze-dried and are still green and leafy. Another extinct plant discovered is the Glossopterus. It's a unique tree because its leaves almost look like ferns. The discovery of these fossilized plants must mean that Antarctica might have been a warm, temperate place. We cannot be certain about this, but maybe the whole world was not too hot or too cold until after the Great Flood which separated the continents, carved the land, and swept many living organisms to separate places. But the flood would carry the animals close to where they were swept away. Now, Lielinosaura is not a polar dinosaur, because dinosaurs are not commonly known to survive in really cold weathers, even if there were any in the pre-flood world. There are many species of small ornithopod dinosaurs. For example, the Eupasaur is about the size of a cat. When their fossils were discovered, they were well preserved, except for their tails and ribs. God designed the Eucosaurus' mouth with sharp teeth that were conical shaped and were tightly packed together. Some people think that they were omnivores, but maybe God designed their teeth to eat through thick and hard vegetation. It's because of their long legs that gave them the classified name Eocosaur, because many people think that they can run really fast with them. Heterodontosaurus is famous for his teeth. Unlike all the ornithopods that God made, he made tusk-like teeth at the front of his mouth and has cheek teeth inside the mouth for chewing. Some people think that these are found only on the males, and would also think that they would also eat meat, but we are completely unsure about that. The musk deer, an animal that is still existing today, was designed with scary long saber tusks. And the untitherium, a large extinct mammal, has two long tusk-like teeth also. They may look scary, but the musk deer is 100% herbivore, eating grass, leaves, flowers, and even moss. And so the untitherium is probably all herbivore too. So why did God give these different animals such long teeth? Maybe in a way to help them eat plant foods such as to easily puncture through hard fruits and other plants. God designed other features for the heterodontosaurus. He made its arms long, and has good hands and claws for picking up things. He made a beak at the very front tip of its mouth, and God also strengthened its long legs for good running. Heterodontosaurus can also use his teeth to fight for a territory or a mate. If a predator catches the heterodontosaurus, he can react quickly with a sharp and painful bite. While we can't be certain if one or both genders had these tusk teeth, However, the teeth were said to be found on the juveniles. For a very small dinosaur, God made the Heterodontosaurus so bizarre and amazing. Thescolosaurus is a medium-sized herbivore. God made them grow as long as a big crocodile, but not taller than a man. Their fossils have been found in several places in the USA, and they have also been found in Canada. There was once a time that scientists thought that they had found a fossilized heart inside one of the Thescolosaurus' fossils. But it turns out to be just a stone heart sand, and not a real fossil heart. 
Some people think that the adult genders of Thescolosaurus were different and not in the same size because adult fossils were found ranging from 2.5 to 4.5 meters long. Whether males are larger than the females, or the other way around. But we might not be able to find the answer in this world. God designed their mouths with beaks, pointed teeth at the top front, and leaf-shaped teeth back inside the mouth. Another interesting design feature on the Thescolosaurus is that some people think that their legs were good for swimming. The Thescolosaurus might have been able to swim to find underwater plant food and to escape from predators.